honestly so hard to keep water activated paints on when it's so damn hot outside. It's literally melting off my face. Like, my poor little wig. It's gonna have water activated paint all over it. A little bit of TMI, but... Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. If you're new here, hi, my name is Sarah. I make a lot of special effects tutorials, mostly around Halloween time, some beauty tutorials, and a little bit of DIY in between. Today's video is all about the body paint. I have become one with the stained glass window. <laughs> if you would like to see more videos like this, then subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already, and let's get started, shall we? All right, so I've already done my base to save some time, but as always, I'm using my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk. As my first color though, I'm going to be using Love Plus from Sugar Pill in my inner corner and blending it out slightly towards the middle as a starting point to blend Cannonball from ColourPop in. And lastly, Butter Cupcake from Sugar Pill. And actually, just before continuing my color scheme down below, I'm lining my waterline with Mixed Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk. Same one as I used on my lid. Starting with Acid Berry from Sugar Pill. And marrying it into Lost and Found from ColourPop. And lastly, in the inner corner, I'm adding Pop Culture from Makeup Geek. I'm blending that slightly up into Love Plus. And that kid is what you call full circle. <laughs> Adding in some mascara and seeing as how I always have my brows on, but they aren't both necessary for the second portion of this, I'm actually going to be taking one down and blocking it out with some glue. Moving on to the paint job though, I'm using a handful of water activated paints for this in no particular order as well, but I'm going to be using Bendai's Lime Green, Sunshine Yellow, Bright Red, Bright Orange, and Mayron's Paradise Paints in Purple, Dark Blue, Teal, and Light Blue. Generally, I'm just going to be drawing some geometric shapes on their face that flow decently well together without putting too many light colors too close together, but not worrying too much about the messiness as well as I will be fixing that later.
I mentioned that I will be using a handful of colors, but the last one is going to be Cloud White from Ben and I. You can totally use any white for this though, as my separating color to just outline. This is the part that will actually be fixing the majority of mistakes or messiness that I have done. And because I added some mascara to my other eye, I'm going to be adding some contrast using a Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick and Drug Lord. Super completely and utterly eye safe. He's stated this many times on his channel, but use to your discretion. I'm going to be using this in the place of mascara for this one, and I'm finishing this off with Trip on the half of my lip that isn't painted, which is a Diamond Crusher from Lime Crime. <laughs> 